day he left me. The day he left me, I cried for 16 hours solid. When I looked in the mirror, my face was all blotchy and I thought, please tell this to you, him. Of course, when your husband leaves you, the word bastard keeps coming into your head and being an old letters. First you just form sanity on your lips. Then you start to mutter it under your breath. Then you whisper it vehemently, spitting out the consonants. And as it drums in your head, so you bang it out deep and loud. And it builds, and it builds, until before you know it, you are screaming at the top of your voice, Bastard! <laughs> when your husband leaves you, you'll know what I mean. There's <laughs> Bastard now. Bang on time. The best thing I can say about him after 19 years of marriage is that he's punctual. She's come here too. Her. It. They've come together for dinner. I suppose they let me in. No, they can wait. Someone we used to know. Oh, 
great. I didn't know you were going to be talking about old times. Shut up. What are we having for dinner, Lori? Smells delicious. Very special dish, Kevin. A surprise. That's what we're having for dinner. A surprise. Well, knowing you, it will be extremely palatable. Ahead, sir. You do both eat meat. Yeah. I couldn't bear it if you're vegetarians. And I didn't think to ask him. I assumed you haven't changed your taste in food. Only women. <laughs> She's staring at me again, Kenneth. Don't be ridiculous. At least try and make an effort. She's been through a lot, you know. And I haven't. But not now, Laura, please. Why tonight? She knows it's special. Why buy this round tonight? And you have to say yes. I love to celebrate. Any old reason will do for the celebration. How long has it been? Three years. Three years? My, my, three whole years and still together. Well done, both of you. How long did we last get it? Nineteen. Is that all? Still, three years. You must be very clean. Marking thrill. <laughs> Laura! <laughs> Sorry, Laura. <laughs> Don't apologize for her. Just let her be herself. A toast to the happy couple on their third wedding anniversary. Kenneth and Laura. Cheers. She's so good at it. Making me feel uncomfortable and unwelcome and all I'm supposed to feel grateful because she's serving up dinner in our honour. See the way she looks at you? Like she is hungry from after all these years. Licking her lips. Salivating. See the way she stares at me, smiling sweetly behind those eyes, wicked thoughts. Look at them laughing together. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone would think that they were still married. Anyone would think it was their anniversary, their celebration. Should have brought them a present. Cigarette. I'll have one. You don't smoke. So, I can have a cigarette if I want one. Oh dear, is she being a bit of a babe? No, she isn't. She just fancies a smoke. Well, I have cigars if you'd rather. Or a pipe. It doesn't surprise me. I can just see you with a pipe stuck in your gob. Now, Laura, we, we don't want any arguments. Nobody's arguing, Ken. Just keep your nose out. Can I, can I help you with anything, Hillary? <laughs> Not just now. Everything's going according to plan. <laughs> How is it that you're going to help her, Ken? What? How are you going to help her? I don't know. That would be up to Hillary. But you've never been in the kitchen before. How could you possibly help her? <laughs> just so long as you don't go anywhere near it, we should all be safe from salmonella. <laughs> Kenneth doesn't like my cooking, Hillary, but he's always spoken so highly of yours. Well, that's nice to know. We have to be appreciated for some things. Yes, we do. And don't think I don't know what her game is bringing him in, tempting him back to their fine food, showing me up for a fool. Well, I hope it burns and she serves up ashes. I hope it's soup plain that flops like a fart. <laughs> Maybe I could go in there and turn up the oven. Better still, just turn it off so she thinks it must be done. Whatever it is. Uncooked and cold. Still frozen in the middle. She'll have to send off for a takeaway. <laughs> oh, but how disappointed he would be. So badly let down. I tried to stuff his face before we came, so he wouldn't have an appetite, but he sacrificed mine for hers. Well, that fat pig might just regret it if there's no dinner at all. Besides, he only has to taste her trifle, sniff her soup, swallow her salmon mousse, and he'll be in raptures. Seventh heaven. I won't allow it. Won't tolerate it, and will not let him touch her food. Peanut, anyone? Ah, perhaps 
I should put a record on any requests. As if I didn't know what you'd like on, Kenneth. Okay. <laughs> He's grown out of Elvis, if that's what you mean. Surely not. You haven't, have you? You don't grow out of Elvis, Laura. You grow into him. She's never been able to appreciate the finer characteristics in Presley's songs, so I played them to her in the hope that I'd persuade her of his genius. There's none so deaf as those who will not hear. How oh, you don't know what you're missing, Lord. Party was the always a little lady. When he danced, the room shook and the records jumped. When he cracked a joke, he laughed louder than anybody else. And when he had one too many, we all ran for cover. His all-time hero was the king himself, Elvis Aaron Trent. He never let anyone forget it. Not Kenneth, my husband. 